Exposure to drag has grown since the television show RuPaul's Drag Race first aired. The art form varies across the United States, and Tiger TV reporter Ava Palermo dug into how drag is different in Louisiana. Drag queens are typically seen as those performing the female gender through using vibrant makeup, flashy jewelry, over-the-top accessories, and lots of colorful wigs. For Carl Schott, drag is about having fun and exuding confidence on stage. So that's me at Work the World. They called me on stage for a quick drag competition. This is right after I won. I was ecstatic. It was the greatest night of my life. Since drag challenges conventional societal norms, the culture is not always met with acceptance in conservative places like Louisiana. In 2018, the Louisiana Public Library System was sued by the Civil Liberties Union after attempting to have an event where drag queens would read to children. An excerpt from the lawsuit not only inaccurately refers to the volunteer queens as transgender, but also accuses them of trying to brainwash and indoctrinate minors. Blake Robertson is a supporter of Drag Queen Story Hour and disagrees with claims that drag can harm children. I think that drag is an expression that a lot of kids don't get to have based off of their conservative parents and that regardless of how you feel about drag in itself, drag is an expression for the people that don't get to express themselves. Though Carl agrees with Robertson, he explains why some conservatives protest drag in these situations. If a drag queen is trying to push an agenda to a conservative group of people, you know, maybe having them be so broad and out there isn't the best way to get them on your side because it definitely is a shock to them. Regardless of triviality, drag plays an undeniable role in LGBTQ plus politics and entertainment, even in unlikely places like the Deep South. Ava Palermo, Tiger TV. And when we come back, find out how some LSU students are literally racing to the finish line. Don't go anywhere, Tiger. 